Amazing show of support for a man in need. A team of volunteers traveling from out of state to help restore his South Mississippi home. Lauren Martinez shows us more. I didn't know if the house was going to collapse. Longtime Picayune resident David Martins lost his home during Hurricane Ida in 2021. There's a huge oak tree behind my house, which is probably 70 to 100 years old. And it, the biggest limb on a tree come crashing down through my roof from the back all the way to the front, missing me by about six feet. It left 75% of his house in ruins. After two years of temporarily living in a camper, help has arrived. Volunteers from College Station, Texas, are stepping in. It's just worked out great. It's been a project that we can come in for a gentleman that has been waiting for a long time to get his house built. And uh, here we go. We're able to get in here and make a big difference in this guy's life. Martin says watching his home be rebuilt feels like a dream. At first, it didn't sink in. But just a few minutes ago, when I saw them, they're going to put a French door in my house. Yeah, I don't know. Something just hit me. It lit me up. And now it's starting to sink in. Uh, how great God is, because none of this would, wouldn't have happened. Everything that happens in my life, uh, God, God's at the control of everything. The team of 13 volunteers will be working on the labor-intensive project for one week installing walls, roofing, windows, and doors. Very seldom do we go and build something nine foot off the ground. Uh, the challenge was the, the height to begin with. Beautiful thing about this house is he gets to look on the river, and uh, so he'll have a beautiful view when we're finished. Smith says Martin's moving in is dependent upon how soon another round of volunteers is able to complete the interior of the home. In Picayune, Lauren Martinez, WLOX News Now. The volunteer group has also worked on mission projects in Texas, Arkansas, and Oklahoma.